Morning guys, this is your boy Caster and today I will show you how to uh, uh, how to fix or how to get around the dead Bluetooth syndrome on your Apple computer. Okay, so as you can see right here, uh, my Bluetooth just uh, it says Bluetooth off and if I try to turn it on it won't do anything all right so you open uh, system preferences and you try to do it over here also same thing it won't do anything all right so guys there is a there's a keyboard combination that you should do to you should apply um, uh, let me just um, so it's gonna be um, it's a keyboard combination uh, that combines shift and option then a click and you have to put the mouse over you know to the Bluetooth uh, the Bluetooth icon okay position you uh, the mouse over here then you wanna if you click shift and option then you click on it as you can see it opens up something else okay there's a there's a window that pops up here and uh, what we want to do is we want to debug okay so you want to debug then you click on reset the Bluetooth module all right now it is a good um, practice to remove all the devices before you do it but I have had uh, success just resetting it but you need to um, you need to be aware that if you try it and it don't work or it keeps on doing it you need to remove all the devices just clear the there will be a count there will be different devices here just click on each of them and make sure you remove them all or you can do it at once over here remove all devices okay so as you can see there's no there's nothing here uh, because I removed them all and I'm gonna click on reset Bluetooth module all right let's do it so are you sure uh, you want to continue you said okay all right just wait a few seconds then you try it again if it doesn't work all right now the you have reset it the um, I mean you debugged the the Bluetooth module so now this is what you do you want to turn off the computer okay just click here and restart all right so let's do it and we'll be back. All right, guys. So we're back, and um, as you can tell, my mouse is now working, and I didn't even have to go back and and reconnect it. Okay, I don't see my uh, Bluetooth headset, and um, I don't see my wireless keyboard also. But I guess uh, uh, the computer just recognized that this was an Apple mouse, so it just connected it automatically. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect my my other devices later on. All right. So there is one thing that I do need to tell you. Um, anytime you you you, it makes sense. Okay, what I'm gonna tell you makes perfect sense. Guys, you know debugging is not a simple task, right? So if you if you do any debugging, 
there uh, there will be some some work involved not on your part but in part of the, the of the computer so by clicking the debug option here and resetting the bluetooth module then coming up here and restarting the computer the computer will restart but it's gonna do some internal work so you need to leave the computer alone you need to leave your computer do its thing even if it takes uh 40 minutes you have to leave it alone all right then because the computer because of the the because of you debugging the computer debugging something the computer will try to do a, a, an internal reset so it can fix things so that's why i'm telling you to leave it alone let it do its thing so once it's done you will see everything will work fine okay so remember this keyword uh keyboard combination is shift option then a click on uh on the logo on the bluetooth logo okay so now guys um i hope this video has been helpful for you i'm gonna give you um, a list of keyboard combination okay so let me pull that out here and uh, i'll basically uh put everything down below in my description so as you can see this is a, a list of uh, keyboard shortcuts that you you need to know <laughs> okay you can master these and uh, basically impress your friends if you want but it's gonna be helpful for you uh, say for instance um, let me just do this one so you guys can see if I, see, if I do if I do uh, command then space spotlight search pops up so you don't have to go there and click on spotlight okay so if you have uh, a lot of windows uh, if you're working on a lot of stuff windows open on your computer on your screen you do a uh, command tab command tab will help you navigate through all the windows that are open okay so as you can see this key combination will allow you to cycle through open applications okay so you start by holding down the command key and pressing tab so you'll be tab you'll be tapping on tab to uh, um, to cycle through uh, the open windows or open applications so each time you press tab it will switch to the next application in line okay so that's cool all right so command delete this shortcut will using this shortcut will move any selected items to the trash all right so guys that's that's cool right let's try another one uh maybe this one command i uh, once you have selected a file or folder use this uh shortcut to quickly get the information on the file command z just uh so anyway guys uh you need to go through all of these they are maybe 18 or 20 of them just just check them down below and you will be able to copy them to uh your own uh notepad i'm using um uh, Chrome, uh, uh, what's that again? A Chrome extension that is called, uh, like you say, Chrome Notepad uh, by Cute Note. So you don't have to uh, keep on uh, saving it somewhere, it stays here. Okay, all right, so this is it guys i hope this video has been helpful once again and um 
uh, I'm hoping that if you have a question you will not hesitate to ask me down below okay and um, keep a lookout for my next video by uh, uh, tapping the, the bell button and um, also subscribe and do not forget to give a thumbs up okay guys I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.